Hi, this is Jason from Gene Codes Corporation. Today, we're going to look at how to trim low quality data from sequences in Sequencher. This video is the second in the Tour Guide of Sequencher series. As you may recall, in the first installment of the Tour Guide, we looked at how to import sequences into Sequencher. Sequencher allows you to trim these sequences based on confidence scores or ambiguities. For today's tour, I'm going to focus on using confidence scores. In the project window here are some sequences that I've imported from the sample data folder that comes with Sequencher. To trim sequences, I highlight them and then select Sequence Trim Ends. This brings up the Ends Trimming window. Here you can see a preview of how much of each sequence will be trimmed off if I use the current trim criteria. The bases that will get chopped off are in red and the sequences that will remain are here in blue. Let's click on the Change Trim Criteria button. This brings up the Ends Trimming Criteria window. In this window you can set the criteria that will determine how much of each sequence to trim. Here this is based on confidence scores, but it could also be ba I could have set it based on the amount of ambiguities. Sequencer allows you to set different levels of trimming criteria and turn them off and on depending on how strict you want to be. Right now you can see how much of the data will be trimmed if I use the phase one criteria. Now let's turn on the phase two criteria and click OK and you can see that many more bases will be chopped off now that we're using the phase 2 criteria as well. So let's go ahead and actually trim the sequences by going to trim checked items. It'll give us this little warning window and we'll say trim. And so now we've trimmed those bases off of each end of the sequences. Now what happens if after you've done this you suddenly realize that was maybe more than I wanted to trim off of these sequences. Maybe I should have taken a little less off. That's not a problem. When you trim the data, Sequencer keeps a copy of the original sequences. So all you have to do is go to Sequence, Revert to Experimental Data, and now the sequences are the original sequences with those bits that we trimmed off back on them. Thank you for watching. This brief preview of trimming sequences has been the second installment in a series of videos providing a tour guide of Sequencher. Our next installment will look at how to assemble contigs in Sequencher.